is Mr. Rodriguez, and I'd like to show a short demonstration on how to wrap up your collage assignment. That's assignment number one. Um, and I want to start by showing what you should do if you were using a mobile device to capture your images. So when I say a mobile device, I mean you have a phone, you have a tablet, you have an iPad, something like that, um, and you're going to use a mobile app to edit in. Um, I will do a second demonstration that shows um, desktop apps, so you'll see those separately. Um, so this today, um, right now, I'm showing the mobile version. So I'm into my Photoshop apps, uh, my Adobe apps, and you notice I have lots of Adobe apps here. Um, I'm going to use this Photoshop Express app um, here. Looks like this. Boom. It's going to populate with all your pictures. Um, first thing. Um, darkroom photography kids. I told you that you could shoot in color, but I wanted you to turn in black and white images. So if you did that, if you shot in black and white, you're all set. You don't need this step. If you shot in color and you need to turn them into black and white, it's pretty simple. You can come in here, select your image, and notice I'm going to go back one step because I didn't show this. Uh, I am in edit mode across the top. See this top part? I'm in edit mode. I'm going to select my image. I'm going to scroll across the bottom here and there is a black and white filter here. This gives you a bunch of options on what kind of black and white image you want to make. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this guy. And this scroller here allows you to say how powerful that filter is. I'm going to keep it pretty low like that. And then I'm going to hit the back arrow and save. So now I have a couple of images in black and white. If you're in my black and white photography class, I do want you to make all of your images black and white, okay? Make them black and white. If you're not, then don't worry about it. You can do color. Um, okay, so now that we've got our images in black and white, I do want, so I want to take all the images and put them into a collage. If you notice across the top, instead of being in edit mode, I'm switching here to collage mode. Once I'm in collage mode, I want to make a selection of my, uh, what is it, 11 or 12 compositional images that you guys did, okay? Um, so I don't have all of those on here. I am just selecting some images that I have on my phone um, of my kids. Here's one of my kids running with the dogs. Where's that? Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so anyway, so I have seven selected. Um, you're going to have more like 11 or 12. Once you have the select the images that you want to use in your collage, at the bottom you're going to click the next button and it's going to populate it over across to this side. Looks pretty good. Now, you can decide how you want it to be displayed. Um, you have grids, you have freeform, and you have shapes like this. I might just, it doesn't matter to me what you decide you want to do. You can play with this and see how does it display my images the best. Now, notice something like this. That doesn't work very well because look at a couple of my images. My daughter's head is getting chopped off. So I don't know that I would I would want to display them like that. Um, I might do something more like um, this where it's some are, some are looking a little bit different than others. You can play with it and see. You can also move the images within the frame until you get how you want it. Maybe something like that. I kind of like that. This image here is kind of weird though. So anyways. You get the idea. You can play with that as much as you want. Okay, once you have it the way you want it, now we want to export it out here. I click that top right corner. It's the. It looks like a rectangular shape with an arrow pointing up. Why? Because this is the save and share option. So I'm going to leave everything as it is. What I want to do is I do want to... Um, export it out to my camera Whew. I want to do this so I'm, I'm clicking on this top three where it says save and share and it shows um, three little dots in the top right corner here if you're not yeah there we go here and now I want to keep the size as original no watermark and I want to make it into a JPEG very high just like that oops Wrong button. Hmm. 
we can save it to our camera roll. Just like that. Okay, so now this is on my camera roll on my phone. So let's see that. Go back. Camera. Oops, not like that. All photos. And now I have my collage here. Pretty easy. Now, you can take this and send it to your computer. Or if you're using your phone to turn this in, you can put this directly onto Power, the PowerSchool Learning site. Okay? So once you have this, that's what you're going to hand in in the PowerSchool Learning site. Okay, students. So here I am in the PowerSchool Learning site now. My site does look a little bit different than yours because this is the teacher view, but I'm going to be in week one, and you'll see that across the top here. And at the top here, we have assignment one, composition. You're going to be able to click here, and you are going to be able to do a hand in here. Um, I cannot do a hand in here, so you'll be able to do it. I can't because I have a different view than you guys. So, And that's where you'll hand in. You'll be able to, um, now you'll be able to hand in that JPEG, if you're on your phone or tablet, you should be able to hand in that JPEG right there. Um, if you see, I have a view work instead of a hand in there, and so you'll want you'll be able to hand it in right there. Um, if you have it on your phone and you want to get onto the PowerSchool Learning site and on a computer to turn it in, you'll want to either email it to yourself or airdrop it to yourself. Um, those are pretty easy things to do. Um, if you're not exactly sure how to do that, contact me. I'll, I'll give you some step-by-steps on exactly what to do. Okay? Um, yeah, that should cover it. That should be how you turn in your first assignment. Thanks for listening. Um, email me or contact me with